Hello Commanders and welcome to another Star Wars Legion build video brought to you by Out of Art Gaming. As always my name is Phil and in today's video we will be building Obi-Wan Kenobi and General Grievous from the Star Wars Legion Clone Wars core set. In this video we'll be recording our experience with building the figures and providing any useful tips that we have found whilst building these. As always we have a number of items on hand for this including our trusty clippers from Army Painter, a Stanley knife or any good modelling knife will do an emery board for some more general cleanup, and some plastic glue and super glue. We finally got to crack open the Clone Wars core set and there is a lot of bits in here and we'll be doing a video on each unit so stay tuned and subscribe. Now we are relatively new to Legion and we're quite surprised to find the clones all pre-bagged and the droids on sprues, although as you'll see when building the clone items this did really speed up the process. Now before building your models you should have a look through the learn to play booklet as they include some very useful tips. Uh, for instance it mentions if you do find that any of the pieces have been misshapen you can hold them under a moderately hot tap until they soften to reshape the part. Then once reshaped you can place it in a cup of cold water and this will harden it much quicker. You will particularly find this with Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber. Now the booklet does also suggest using super glue for the clone troopers and plastic glue for the droids due to the different types of plastic they're made with. Now with all of our models we will use super glue to attach them to the base but plastic glue would work just fine here. And with that, Obi-Wan is done. Quite a nice mono pose model, very simple to build. Now let's have a look at General Grievous. When building Grievous, we only clipped off the parts that we were working with at the time. Now this helped us to keep all the additional pieces safe and allowed us to concentrate on the parts we were working with. Additionally, if you're doing the cloaked version of Grievous, consider not clipping off the head parts until last, as you'll need to place the cloak on before adding the head. Now, once you've removed the parts you've won and cleaned them up, we do suggest dry fitting these to the model to understand firstly how they go together before gluing and secondly to give you an idea of how it will look and interact with other parts of the model, such as the dual lightsabers on Grievous's left side and the cloak on his back in the model that we are building. Thank you. 
With multi-pose models such as General Grievous, it's always good to plan out which parts you're looking to use, and then marking them on the sprue for quick reference so that you don't clip away the wrong piece.
And there we go, General Grievous is now built. As you can see, there's multiple ways of putting Grievous together, including the three that are displayed in the booklet, but you can pretty much build Grievous however you fancy. So feel free to experiment and have fun with that model. But I will say these two models look absolutely fantastic and we can't wait to get them on the board and see exactly how they are going to go toe to toe with each other. That's going to do it for our Obi-Wan and General Grievous video. Thank you very much guys for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you do like what we're doing here at Art of Art Gaming, you can support us on Patreon with the link in the description below. But we will see you next time for more Legion build videos.